Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Less Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be looking at the domestic reverse charge in zero on the sub subcontractor side. Uh, so we're going to activate the domestic reverse charge VAT codes and then we're going to create an invoice to a contractor uh, we're using those codes just so you can see how they appear in the system. So as you can see uh, we're in the dashboard here but before I start please subscribe to the page please like the video if you find it informative and please also drop a comment even if it's just to say thank you that, that cleared it up just so we can see that the content is being relevant and the content is being helpful or if you have any questions whatsoever please do leave them as well so let's get into the video as you can show in my dashboard uh, the system is activated for CIS uh, so now we need to activate the uh, codes the VAT codes and then we need to create our new invoice from today, the 1st of March. So if we go to accounting, advanced, then we go to tax rates. See, very, very simple, add the domestic reverse charge tax rates. Okay, if I click that, it will say the following rates will be included, and it will be the 20% and 5% on the income and expenditure side. And if you want to read more information on them, you can visit uh, Zero Central. So add domestic reverse charge tax rates. And it's done it all for you. So now what we need to do is we need to create an invoice for a new contractor. So let's create a new customer. Now, CIS um, CI under uh, zero. I always like to create the contractor uh, under this way. One, it just gives me bit more information that I can put in first name last name so John Smith uh, John Smith and then we can put it here um, if they were subcontractor or not but as their contractor we don't need to put that in but I always like to put the the customers in this way it just gives me a lot more information that I can put in uh, very quickly I'll just press save on that one right and now what we want to do under this is create a new sales invoice obviously there's many ways that you can create a sales invoice you can go to business invoices or if you're under that client you can just go new invoice there so ABC construction due date obviously I'll put the 8th of March invoice standard so description five days labor quantity one one thousand right so this is where we'd use the meta reverse charge so if we do that there and we've got to use cis labor income and domestic reverse charge so what you can see here on the screen is if I'd used the standard 20%, it would have done, let's do it as tax exclusive rather than inclusive because it just makes it easier on the calculations. So we've got £1,000 CIS labour, normal 20% labour. So as you can see at the bottom here, it's £1,000 plus the VAT, £1,200, minus the deduction, there's £1,000 due to you. But now under the reverse charge, We'll go right, it's a thousand pounds. The VAT is now zero because there's a credit for the two hundred pounds. Leaves a thousand pounds in total, minus the twenty percent deduction of two hundred pounds, leaves me with eight hundred pounds due to me on uh, this invoice. So if we approve the invoice, okay, that's now approved. Now let's have a look on our VAT return. So let's set the start date for, let's do a monthly return, shall we? So as you can see here, the total value of the sales is a thousand pounds. There's no VAT due, and there's a 342 pound plus fat purchase uh, amount of purchases. So you can see that the, the information has been recorded on the VAT return. And if you look to the transactions by the VAT box, you can see here domestic reverse charge, CIS labour income, thousand pounds. 
So that's now recorded on your VAT return and it's all done the correct way rather than trying to work it out manually and it makes it a lot easier for you. So that's it for today. Uh, like I said, a very, very simple video. And as I said at the start, please like the video if you found it uh, informative. Please subscribe to the page. We're going to have more content coming out. I know we've been a bit lax in the past with the content, uh, but we've got new content coming every week with different videos on all different types of software, but certainly Zero as well as the main sort of contributor to that. Uh, so please come back, subscribe, put that bell notification on so we can see uh, you'll get notified every time we upload. And also drop a comment, even if it's just, like I said, just to say thank you. Uh, that was informative or if you have any questions. But until next time, I'll see you soon.